You are the team, so what do you feel about it? And how do you feel about it? Because no, any any other manager. Well, I think it's 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 good in many ways. Because the first year I talked to Raphael about coming down to. Venezuela, I told him if I come, I don't want to do a one-year deal like a lot of people. I want to at least have a couple of years anyway to have an opportunity to make adjustments or see the league and then go from there. And luckily, we've had a lot of success and they've wanted me to come back. I've worked with one-year contracts every year and you know how that works. If you don't have success, then your contract may not, you may not get an opportunity to have another one. So I really owe it to the players and Raphael, first of all, in the organization, gave me the first opportunity to come, and each year is an opportunity for me to come. But for the players, I have to compliment them because if you have success with your players, and Buddy Bailey wouldn't have had an opportunity year after year after year to get a chance to come back if the players hadn't performed and produced and been able to win. So it's a combination of everything, and I'm happy that I'm able to come back. I like it here in America, obviously, and I feel a closeness to the fans, our Tigre fans, and really a closeness to the fans of all Venezuela because being able to represent the country in the Caribbean World Series puts another thing on your back that's you're representing the country and all the fans from each club, and I really like that responsibility. And I'm a guy that likes to work. I get a chance to work in the winters, too. I work, I'm at a field over 300 days out of a year, counting what I do in the States, and I like to work, and I like the responsibility of the job that it goes with it. So, for me, it's a perfect scenario, and hopefully it continues. You, you get the panel with the Daytona Cups. So, what is the formula of, of the winning formula of Buddy Bailey? Because every league you go, or you're uh, the runner-up or the winner? Well, it's... Uh, when it, you play and when the game's over, you have at least one more run than the other team. That's how. That's what the formula is. What have you learned in 10 years in Venezuela? Uh, some Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I know Baño and I know Cerveza. And that's a, a few words. No, but I just know that, like I thought the first year I was here, that the fans love baseball and each city and each fanatical for each team live and die with their team and they take it real serious which I feel is a responsibility to the great fans that I'm talking about that if you walk up and down the streets if you win they're all happy and if you lose it doesn't matter you can be 10 games in first que pasa por que problema a noche that kind of stuff so unfortunately I act like I don't I probably can understand more than I let some people know just for that reason so I don't have to answer so many questions but at the same time It goes with the territory. That's the job. But that, that lets you know that the fans really are interested day in and day out, night to night, how the team's doing. How, okay, buddy. buddy how, about, okay. how do you feel about your, your measurement in history in Venezuela? You, do, do you know that you are one of the biggest, if not the, the biggest manager in Well, I've gained a lot of weight. I'm sure I'm the biggest <laughs> one in the league this no, year. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not talking about weight or size. I'm oh. talking about how about you have accomplished. One of the greatest. I don't know. I don't think that's something that when you're in the heat of the battle, whether it's a player having a really good season or a good career, you don't think about those things until you're removed and it's all behind you and then it becomes history in itself. And then when you get removed from something, then now you look back and say, gosh, what a hell of a nice stretch of life in my life that was or something. But when you're in the middle of it and you're trying to keep winning and doing your job, you really don't have time to reflect on the past. You learn from the past, but you have to look to the future. And you really spend a lot of time what we've done in the past or the sex or luck I've had as a manager. That's in the past. And my job as a manager is to look for today and try to do the best workouts I can every day till we play the first game manage your first game the best I can and hopefully it's good enough over the 63 to get us into January and that's something later in life that you can look back but you know it, people bring it up all the time but it's not something I really dwell on I don't think about it because I, I have a job to do right now and that's like I said that's all in the past. What is your opinion about the, all the players coming here? We have a lot here we have 60 some players here today which is saying a lot I'm hoping that Chavez and Alex Romero and uh, Victor Moreno and a few others show up here tomorrow because we got to get them going. But I think we got some players that are hungry and they want to go. And we got a lot of young guys that want to be out here with the big guys for a couple of days before they have to go back. But it's good because I get an opportunity to see them. That's why I wanted to do this interview now because the veterans are hit. And I want to be able to be up there and watch the younger guys. And if one of them catches eye, then we give them an opportunity to stay with the club. But is there something missing in your baseball career? Is there something missing uh, uh, long after you have won one, uh, 1,500 games in, in minor leagues and you, you've become the, like, the fifth manager, the fifth 
winningest manager in, in, in minor leagues and you are one of the biggest uh, managers here. Is there something missing? Maybe eight or ten Venezuelan championships in a <laughs> row. That's what's missing. But no, I, I just do my job. And wherever the dust may settle and what I have to do, my job, I just try to do the best I can for whoever who's paying me or in that time of year or whatever organization or whatever, I do the best I can do and try, hopefully for that organization, for the players themselves, and most of all for the fans, because that's what makes the game. What, what is the, the evolution you have seen with the league throughout the, your, your... Well, if you guys remember, six, eight years ago, I told you that you're going to see more and more and more Vince Whalen players being impact players in the big leagues, and that's due to the fact that some Major League Baseball has come down here and set up some academies. Number two, the best minor league in the winter leagues is in Venezuela. So right now when we make decisions, we're going to have 35 or 40 T-grade players playing down the road, playing in competitive season for 50-some game with professional instruction. And a lot of these other countries in winter ball, if a guy is a bottom-tier player, he doesn't have a chance to play. He sits the bench, takes BP and ground balls, but it's nothing like the experience of a game that helps you get better. And I think it's showing that the success that the Venezuelans are not only – the number of guys that, that are Vince Whalen playing in the big leagues, but the, 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 the up echelon players, the Miguel's and what a brew has done for all those years with RBIs and Santana's. And you look, the Cy Young's, MVP, batting titles, all of those are going to Venezuela. So it's a compliment to the, the coaching that they get and the programs that they have as youth. I, I go to Little League practice yesterday. I got some kids I go watch. And the coaches I watch with little kids three and four years old do a good job with the kids. So the grassroots in Venezuela, a lot of people have pride in baseball. And when the, when the adults have that much pride, it instills it in kids. So more and more kids want to play and they want to go get on the field. And they start early and it's more structured and organized, let's say, with instruction. So and with the academies and all, it's just a thing that keeps building and building. And I, Venezuelans are going to get better and better in baseball. And each year I look at the league. I thought when I first came down here, it was eight teams in the league. I thought it was like three or four teams, half the league, man, we got to play really good to win tonight. And the other three or four just play close. They'll make a mistake to beat themselves. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. The whole league is the same way. You have to go out and beat all other, other seven teams in this league now. The first couple of years, it was some weaker links in the league. But there are no weak links in the league now. And that's a compliment to the guys that run the other organizations in the league. They've upgraded what they're expecting. And obviously, they've upgraded the players that they have. But that's because there's more and more quality players in Venezuela, whereas it was less before. So the, luck, the fortunate ones that had those were going to win. Now it's so many more. It's distributed. It's parity in the game in Venezuela now. So every day, it doesn't matter who you play, you got to play your best to win. And buddy, now as a manager today, having a... Uh, big, big names like Jimenez, Buto, Rosman, Maza. What what that does mean for the for your game plan and for the uh, start planning start right, you. with the very core of the team? Well, we're just going to try to go about it the way I told them to this morning earlier. It's not going to be a lot of changes in the way I do it and what I expect. And our goal is to play in January, win the championship. So. I just hope all of them have good years. And, you know, every time everybody always asks, who do you expect to have a good year, this, that, and other? You never know. The guys you count on sometimes have tough years or bad years, and somebody you're not counting on has a really good year. So, you know, as it goes on, the guys earn the playing rights. The, obviously, the guys, the more numbers you've had and years of experience, it's like in the military, you get more strikes. Mm -hmm. And the least performance, you lose a strike. But those guys have bigger stripes than the rookies. So, They're going to get more time to prove that it's a really tough year for them, whereas a young guy only has one or two strikes. He's got to go perform to add stripes to get that seniority and veteran or whatever you want to call it. But if you're a veteran, you're going to get more opportunities, obviously, because you got more stripes. You've earned that.